Hey everybody, it's Savage Sprinkles. I'm back with more little hope. We're in a church. We're hiding from our demons. Let's continue. It's pretty creepy. I hope we live. There's like windows for the demons to break in. I don't know. I don't know about all that. This place is double central. The priest is the spitting image of that creepy preacher. Yeah, I've noticed they have a lot of family names in common. Like the families that were here never left. You know what I mean? We got creaky, <clears throat> creepy creakies. Ah, a piece of paper. A soul divided. In Hebrews 4.12 we read, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. Commonly, we use the words soul and spirit interchangeably. <clears throat> they are those parts of our being that make us up, but cannot be seen. Biblically, they are different. The spirit is our life force. It is that part of us made pure by Christ's sacrifice. The soul is those things that make you unique, such as your personality, your thoughts, and attitudes. Spirit and soul may seem the same, but God and Satan can divide the pure spirit from the often imperfected, imperfect soul self. That duality is key to understanding scripture. There is a disconnect between the spirit and soul. We are divided against ourselves. Our spirit is pure. When God looks at us, he sees blameless. But our soul, those things we struggle with in our heart, need needs reminding of who we are in the spirit. It needs purification. Only isolation and sacrifice can bring us purity, Reverend Carson. That's a hot take, my dude. Okay, nothing else to see in here. Oh, there is something to see in here. God has forsaken us. Wow. So we can't walk straight up the pews. We have to go around the side. I'm looking for anything shiny. Sounds like more than one. Fucking great. <clears throat> Little Hope Pastors. Unreadable, 1658 to 1677. Lazarus Burgess, 1677 to 1688. Defaced, 1688-1692. John Fenn, 1693-1725. Edmund Sterry, 1725-1741. Solomon Temple, 1741-1775. Unreadable, 1775-1801. William Fox, 1801-18. 28. John Chapel, or John Capel, sorry, 1826-18. 65, John Unreadable, 1865 to 1869, Nicholas Lay, 1869 to 1885, Andrew O'Connor, 1885 to 1899, Joseph Milton, 1899 to 1911, Tom Parker, 1911 to 1933, Reese Ward, Mediv, 1933 to 1954, Dr. Richard Bradshaw, Ph.D., 1954 to 1968, something that was defaced, 1968 to 1973, and John Carrier, 1973 to 79. So both of the events that we're looking at, the one with the witch trials has been defaced, and the one from when the house burned down-ish, looks like it's been defaced as well. <clears throat> so that's interesting. We got a piece of paper here. Oh, a parish newsletter this from 1971. Been popping up all over. Diocese of Pleasant River. Recently, parents have expressed concern that their teenage children are being tempted by the occult in musical lyrics, by innocent-seeming spirit boards or movies that glorify Satanism. This is not the first time Little Hope has been scourged by occultism. Manuscripts from the 1600s carefully hidden beneath flagstones in the church rectory were recently discovered 
They were covered with disturbing scrawls in a cipher that revealed magical words and spells. It is believed the town's preacher of the name of the time dabbled with magic and demonology. That was a dark time for the settlers. Times have changed, but Satan's work never ceases. The clergy today stand vigilant against occultism and are unlikely to fall into ignorance and error. But parents should be mindful of the fascination these things hold for the young, particularly rebellious youths. The danger is they fall into bad habits such as smoking marijuana and from there into the occult and disobedience to God. Parents should be watchful and where they see the signs, look to the church and to God. Teenage Rebellion is Occultism by Jove. These kids are pure evil. <clears throat> uh oh. I was just talking about these windows. These windows. Oh. Ah, fuck me! Let's go! Out of here. Run, run, run! We sure do speak easily. Uh oh. Go! Leave, it's my demon! Get out of sight! Hide! Okay, time to not die. get me killed, but we're gonna be brave. I have a knife. We stabbed our demon. I'm so pleased, I think. I'm not sure. I hope it was our demon. Look like our demon. Oh shit. It's still coming. Where are you? Taylor, come on! Talk to us! We gotta do something now. Hold on! We need to be calm. Fuck calm. Taylor's in trouble. My girlfriend! <laughs> She getting confronted by her demon? You know, not everyone has seen their demon, so what's up with that? Taylor. Uh oh. Is that you? I can't see shit. I'm gonna go right because I don't know where else to go. Is that you? I'm over here. Taylor! Well, I have to see you guys. Oh, a bonus feature got you. unlocked. I don't know what that means. We're still in big trouble. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. Give he the guy a, a minute. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. Hmm. Are we falling asleep? 
You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Maybe. Would love to though, I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? I don't think we have to take Bug down the girl. Surrounded. I don't agree with that. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. That's Everything feels out of control. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. Too late for us to do anything now. We've had it. This is over. We have to try. My squad is very demoralized right now. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. Oh, look, our demons made it. What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Could be Angela. It could be Angela safely rejoining the party. That'd be so cool. It looks. Mm, that looks like a demon. But I think it's Angela, so I'm not gonna shoot. Angela! Hi, baby! You made it! Point that goddamn thing at someone else, will you? <laughs> Angela! My god. Never thought I'd see you again. So everyone survived I'm their sure demon you, so far. You... That's We're good. gone. We thought. You know. We're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? Two what more, God's at least. name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? Uh -oh. I heard it. Sounded close too. Just gotta keep moving. <clears throat> Let me help you down. Like this. Daniel? 
Climbing something Guys. down deeper into a hole. What kind of sense does this make? Where the hell are you? Are you gonna have to confront all the demons alone? That would suck. Oh, oh, <laughs> no! Oh, no. It seems unfair if you're gonna make me. Hold on, Taylor. I gotta help. It doesn't seem fair. No. No, not like this. We got it, but we have to save her. We have to hurry. Taylor! Help her! Her poor neck, dude. <laughs> it's been through a lot. Alright, run, run, run. <clears throat> Her demon's still alive. How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in Shithole Central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. We have to go right now! It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. <clears throat> Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Executions, three tormented beings, and not a soul lost. You're doing very well. Thank you. Keep it up. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Let's look at our bearings real quick. Ugh. Looks like everything got an update except for deeper understanding. <clears throat> Taylor was sympathetic about Daniel's experience. Taylor escaped from a demon outside the church. Taylor didn't take the knife. Daniel did not intervene to help Mary. Daniel used the knife to stab the demon and make his escape. He survived a deadly encounter with a demon in the woods. He took the knife. He held on to the knife when running toward the church. Vince assured Andrew he would get help at the church door. Andrew saw Vince ride past. Vince was derogatory. Andrew shot at the demon behind Vince and missed him. And we ran into events while running for the safety of the church. Yes, true. Nothing new here. But Angel's alive, so yay! <clears throat> John refused to drink. John was practical about the danger. John led the way across the bridge. John confronted the girl at the bridge. Andrew thought that the girl he and Angela met meant no harm. Andrew thought that Mary's just a kid. 
Andrew showed compassion toward Mary, telling John she's just a kid. The little girl, she led us to the museum. She begged Carver not to execute David. She claimed to be innocent and directed the blame at Amy. She introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. She turned to watch her sister being hanged. Joseph declared that Mary was evil. Joseph declared that Mary was evil, but Daniel had doubts. John was sure that Mary was the key to everything they'd been through. Andrew fired the gun at the pursuing demon as the group entered the church. Andrew failed to take a shot at the figure emerging from the fog and relieved to discover it was Angela. Andrew found the gun. Andrew shot the demon, attacking Daniel in the woods. He shot the demon, attacking Taylor in the woods. He kept the gun a secret from Angela. And John was upset that we kept it a secret. But that's all right. So far, Keep a lookout for so the girl. Good. We have to stop her. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. This may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? It's too I'm late for most of us, then. Was I can't save us from ourselves from the past. Historic restoration. Warning. Dangerous, unstable structure. Sight Anything unsafe. Anything here not falling apart? Yeah, this is a bad news bears. But let's go into it, because that seems like what we want to do, right? Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. It looks unsafe. Looks yes. kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Was he just grabbed by himself? <gasps> no, this cannot be. Oh, My shit. My eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. Don't burn what down the house. You, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. Mary's more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw a delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did. Your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. I still think it's the priest, yo. I'm going Putting with it that. all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. 
No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I think it's him. I think he's been holding something over Mary's head. That's really what I think, and I'm upset. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. I don't know. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. You met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you doing? of years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing I didn't see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. No I'm good with that. N never happens to me. Aww. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh... What do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. I'm glad they seem more comfortable with each other. Oh! Taylor! Save her, you paladin! Run, Tay Tay! and I let go anyway. No, don't kill her. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Fight it, fight it. Oh no, is she gonna die? Oh no. I hadn't unlocked any of those special traits. What was I supposed to do? No, Taylor! I don't think I've unlocked any special traits for anybody. Oh Taylor. god. No. Oh no, this is a tragedy. I don't think I've unlocked any special traits for anybody. God damn it. Taylor's dead. I can't believe Taylor's gone. Either. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Damn it. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods and we can talk on the way. Bro, Taylor. Look, he has locked traits I haven't done anything with either. That's great. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Damn it.
damn it. I don't, I think everyone's gonna die if I needed to unlock their deeper traits, whatever they were. Ugh. That really sucks. I'm heartbroken. Taylor. I just can't believe it. This ain't happening. Oh, I hear something creepy. More effigies. Yep. More creepy noises. Damn. I'm so mad. I want to go that way, but I cannot. Oh, I've led to the doom of us all. Can't believe Taylor's gone. Can't believe she's gone. If Taylor were here, she'd be yelling at us to keep moving. To make it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Game metaphors. Ooh. Yeah, damn. My foreboding has gone up. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good. Ah, oh, postcard. Oh, he's gonna die too. Alright, great. Pressed into silence. Mmm, good, good. I've unlocked some bonus features though, whatever that's about. No way in. Like the rest of this fucking town. Mayor hails land dead, land deal. Fears protests will surely escalate at cl as closures loom. Yeah, things would escalate, I would say. You're probably right. I see something shiny. Carver for mayor, 666, he's got devil horns. Samuel Carver. People seem to think he's a bad dude. Check this out. Hey! They're coming. Who's coming? You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. That guy's a menace. A I don't ghost? think he gets how bad a mess we're in. You sending a ghost after Inside. me, bro? Unreasonable. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. Sounds like they're it not going to It is only my duty, judge, 
Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? Me. I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. This bastard. I really think it's the Reverend. That's my opinion. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Everyone else this thinks tough. it's not. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little not here Hall. for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. No. Nope. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. He didn't even let me say my piece! Will we know for sure who is guilty at the end of this? I don't know. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? I disagree with the game. <laughs> I'm not sure I did the right thing. <laughs> I'm not sure either, but I feel I like she's... I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gonna be good, right? I feel like you she's agree with him? One. It went down just like he said. can't stay. Let's get out of here. I see there's a sign that says the alarm system's in use. I wonder if that will mess us up. Let's check out our bearings real quick. So he hasn't unlocked any locked traits, I don't think. So we got a new one for the stranger. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. 
There's gotta be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? In memory of James Clark, sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues. Let's open some rusty drawers. Ugh. Kiss my ass. Mr. Vincent Barnes, 15 Mayflower Avenue, number 7. Little Hope. Dear Mr. Barnes, employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness, and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in a dismissal. Ravenden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must acknowledge the receipt of this letter. Please sign and return to the foreman's office within seven days. He did sign it can see that. <laughs> yep, the family photo. Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. This is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. Seems important. I agree. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. It's a good question. Guess we already looked at that. I don't think we can go in this room, right? So, downstairs we go. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Come on. <laughs> so wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us. Little Hope. Hold on. I wanted to read that. Give it back. Little Hope factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost in Little Hope when the Ravenden Textiles factory closes its gates at their Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across the town. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, uh-oh, another Carver, um, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer of the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers of the factory to be part of our extended family and know how much Ravenden means to them. We can no longer continue to run the business. Dialogue with the Carver family, said McCarthy, but while the daughters have been Receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. If they can't profit from the land, they will just shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, Many are worried that the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding, We 
dot dot dot. Fairman, bus drivers wanted, full training given, uniform provided, apply to Prime Street. So yeah, factory closing and people don't want it. And the Carvers are all over this town and they've owned the town for generations, they say. Not surprised. Let's see, can we go this way? No? All right. How about in here? Factory closure has been closed due to a liquidation of blank. Little Hope Textiles Limited. Following several incidents since the closure of the factory has been placed off limits, attempts to enter the premises will be treated as criminal trespass. Any former workers wishing to retrieve property can contact our office. Dope. Don't do it. Dope. Don't do it. It's good advice. Okay, can't go any further that way. So we'll come around this way. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? It's the story here. She leave him for some other guy? Tanya and Vince. So Vince, probably our Vince from the bar, dated Tanya. He died in the fire. Did he work at the textile factory? Did she? Uh oh. You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. Yeah, right now. Cancelled order. Climb it. Push it. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push! Oh! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Bro. You let one fall in. Hey, are you okay down there? Woohoo! It's even! are dead. That's horrifying. Thank you. He's gone. Same as Taylor. I'm sorry. This is going horribly for me. That thing looks to have gone, but it could come back any time. We have to keep moving. I don't have her luck trait either. <laughs> I thought I got another bearing, but I don't see one. Ooh, we did pretty good. 
on secrets. All right. Well, maybe if I had their unlocked traits, they could survive. I'm not sure if that's how that works, but that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. Is that my monster or someone else's monster? A new monster? Open the trunk? Or the, the... This is Vince's car, I would guess. He's got the sun logo. You see that? No. What are we looking at? little girl stay on your toes anything could happen no one in the hole is safe while you still draw breath Joseph. you must die today not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan damn me if you must you're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I can't in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll tell as you face you in my death. Roy, you but sin. We have to stop this. Get away! You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orb rests in your hands. She's about to get squished. screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? Oh Jump. my god! John! What are you doing? I'm done running! Yeah, fight time it. for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Go, John, are you go! Crazy? We gotta move! Trophy for that. <laughs> Come on, you fuck, I'm ready. Yeah, that'll show him.
Be a fucker! Go, go, go. Hey, she helped you, you have to help her. Oh shit! No! I couldn't see where to hit it. I tried. Run, run, run. No, John. Get inside. No, don't kill me. Oh, shit. Stressing me out so much. Where in God's name are we now? The place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Look at our okay, so he has a lock trait still. Angela has a lock trait still. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that John has a lock trait still, so it's going good. She resisted. For this game. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> That's one for House of Ashes. <laughs> Little girl, I see you. Hold on, let's see if there's anything else to see. Well, she's going upstairs, so we should follow her, right? Wipey, wipey. Bad man scaring a little girl. Are we back in the burned down family house? Is that where we are now? I don't see anything out this window. That could be it though. Letter from Robert Carson, September 71. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12.11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so that we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Reverend Carson. I scared myself, but I 
see a key. Yeah, this is the house. I already discovered that. I must have gone backwards. Alright. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, God. It's coming for me. see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. <laughs> she doesn't want to be married to him either. <laughs> Modern guide to successful parenting. Teach us. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring, so parents accept theories that encourage love as the solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that if their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge ever, gr ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger at their child's behavior, but cannot keep a lid on their frustration until they explode, frightening and confusing the children. The parents feel guilty and at a loss of what to do, feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. The problem lies with parents trying to be patient when patience is exhausted and the child needs correction. They're indecisive or irresolute when firmness is required. If no one corrects him, the child will only escalate his behavior until his provocations become so serious that his parents snap. An eruption restores peace temporarily, but there is danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty at losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure his punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo the correction by easing penalties. Discipline requires consistency. Both parents must hold the line against a rebellious child and punishments followed through. Should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit. Setting limits. Parents must set limits and indeed a child prefers his parents to be firm, provided they are also fair. This is essential training and getting on with other people. Without it, the child believes the world will conform to their demands and tantrums. Such spoiled children are often shocked by the real world and cannot cope in an environment that doesn't indulge their whims. They face becoming unpopular or learning the hard way how to socialize with others. Parents must actively intervene in establishing limits. A child that balks can be forced to do what's asked of them, whether it's stopping them drawing or turning the TV off. A well-adjusted parent can stand up to their children while maintaining friendly relations. Be firm in the face of refusal or yelling. In time, the child will learn where the boundaries of acceptable behavior lie. Bad manners. As he progresses towards adolescence, a child is apt to lose his manners. He talks tough, leaves his shoelaces untied, and arrives at the dinner table with dirty hands. Many things are happening here. He's adopting models of behavior of other kids his age and asserting his independence. He's fine with his behavior. Parents imagine the child has forgotten all they've taught him, but he hasn't. He knows good behavior from bad, or he wouldn't rebel against it. His parents should understand that their child is growing up normally. 
Angry feelings from a child are normal. Parents should acknowledge these without excusing misbehavior. A child needs to understand the difference between hostile feelings and hostile actions. The basis of well-adjusted behavior is the ability to recognize feelings and decide how to act on them. Some boys may show no open rebelliousness, while girls show less bad manners than boys. Attentive parents can detect a change of attitude. They may... Dot, dot, dot. There's a hole. Oh! Run! The thing, it's coming! So our two monsters are back again. It seems like once they kill you, they slither off, though. They're safe. trying to find the staircase I was missing earlier. Perhaps through here. Maybe? Yes. You hear that? I did. Could only be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. Stay here. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn bite, will ya? Andrew, what are you doing? <laughs> God, they gotta stop doing that to me. <laughs> Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence as discovered through my investigation is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now the take child. The creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town. Or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the devil's Wait. help. Yeah, perhaps. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this I don't think I have enough evidence evil. to prove this. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Uh oh. Be still. 
What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free I to leave. I hope I'm not wrong after all oh! of this. Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's all! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I will be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl, and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This whole nightmare is over. I want to check these bearing updates real bad. <laughs> okay, let's check them real quick. Angela survived. John survived. Mary was judged to be innocent and gratefully thanked Andrew for his help. Ah, I wish I had saved the other two. I feel terrible about it. Hey! I'm talking to you! Hey! You should have stayed away. Never come back here. Never forget or forgive you for what you did. I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. He didn't murder anybody either. That's him! What? Look out. That son of a bitch has a gun. What the hell is this about? You seem a little confused. No, please. Wait. You don't understand. I was the bus driver. All along. Traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. 
I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. What does Hi it there. mean, though, for the people I killed? Hey, if they're just pieces of my own mind. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That does look you? bad. You take a goddamn shot at me. Quit hiding in there. Hey, cool it. I was, I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. Got a trophy. Another trophy. Another one. <sighs> Harsh. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All your doing. I tried my best, man. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Poor guy, what a tortured soul. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian desert. Maybe somewhere else. But we will meet again. At least one more time. <coughs> a thousand more times. I would play all these. As many as they make, I would be happy to do it. We've got hockey. I don't know what that means. Well. That's it for Little Hope. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm upset that people died, but I really don't know what I could have done different. So, we'll have to figure that out. But overall, great playthrough. I definitely got scared with these jump scares a few times. And the death scenes are horrific, so that was awesome. I that I can see when I see so long. Ah, 
Let me know what you would have done differently or how your playthrough went because I know there's a lot of way things can go. Um, that's crazy, but really fun, and I'm glad we finally got to finish it. Um, like I said, we've tried to stream it a few times, and it failed a lot of times, but we did it. We got through it. Ah, feels good. Well, this is Mav's favorite um, version of the Dark Anthology so far. It's his most favorite one. I'll have to ask him more about why. I like it, I just don't know why it's his most favorite. Um, it was super cool. Glad we got it done. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube at Savage Wrinkles. Have a great night, everybody. Fight your demons. Fight.